What is going on YouTube? Back at you with my video of how I submit or get my cards ready for shipping to some send out to CSG, PSA, or HGA. Just depends on who you're sending out for. Uh, at least bulk orders. So HGA right now you can't send out a bulk order. I think the most you can send out is five cards. And of course PSA is shut down until July, but it is a reference on what you can do to ship out PSA bulk. Uh, this is what I do. Of course, I have some post-it notes. And, of course, I already set up most of the cards. Um, I'm just going to show you what I do with the rest of them. But uh, as I print out my form, I go over all the cards and check off that they're in the right order. Because it says it's not how you entered it. It's how the sheet prints it out. But mainly, it's it, it comes out how you entered it. But... If you're going to send in an order this big, you want to go over and make sure. So, okay. So, I'm right there at the Cam Anchors cards. Alright, so what I do is I'm going over the sheet. So, I got Cam Anchors, red, white, and blue. Then I got a basic, a base card, and another base card. So I'm going to go to the sheet, and cross out, or it is, Cam Acres. So that's three total cards. Alright, then the next list is Antonio Gibson. I have two base. And red cracked ice. So going over the sheet. Two base. Red and white. Next is the Thaddeus Moss. No hurdle purple. Of course that one is numbered. Not sure if he'll do what he'll do in the NFL. But somebody might want this to the Rainbow Collection. If they're an LSU fan. And this one is... Uh, the purple hunt no huddle. All right. <clears throat> and then I got a Claypool, and I got a Justin Jefferson. It matches up. Claypool, Justin Jefferson, or Justin Jefferson. So I'm count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I need one more card. And that will be my Chase Young. Chase Young Prism Element. Check. So now what I do is... So before I even do anything, I see, um, I see a lot of people asking why people put tabs on their cards. Uh, for me, it's I think it's easier. People say, that oh, they cut them. Well, I mean, I don't know how... I want somebody cutting and accidentally cutting into my card. If simply they can just pull the tab and slide the card out quick and easy... I think it saves them time. Your order gets done quickly. You know, at the risk of maybe somebody accidentally cutting your card. You know, it shouldn't happen, but that's why I personally put the tabs on there. I'm going to take a team bag, which is this is the one. I'll put it in the description where you can buy them on Amazon and eBay. So it's graded uh, card sleeves. As you can see, it's pretty big. I'll put it over the back. And I unload it so, or um, I set them in there so I can tape the bottom of it. That way the tops aren't. There we go. Nice and secure. Whoop. Oh, these team bags are terrible. Now, I bought these to put my SGC cards in. There you go. But, they're too big. But what does fit in them is these. The actual PSA graded slabs, this will fit in there perfectly, and they look beautiful in them. And, of course, that's from the Cardboard Gold, which actually is the first, it does the card saver ones. Uh, I love their sleeves for their cards. I think their sleeves are nice and snug or I should say they're nice and a little looser 
that way you're not clipping corners or edges and they fit all cards chromes because some of the sleeves that you buy the, uh, the chrome cards or a little bit thicker cards don't fit in there quite great So I got 10. All right, now let's see what we have here. I have a Nick Robinson and a Bukovist. And then I got my USC cards, Rose Namanunis, John Jones, Usman, Usman Refractor, uh, Anisanya, Islam, Khabib. I think that might be 10. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <clears throat> That's okay, I'll leave. I'll just put the nine in. I don't want to break up the same cards. Okay, so checking off the list. We have a Nick Robinson check. And a Bukvist. That's how you're saying it, right? And then I have a... Whoop, Rose. Uh, it says the John Jones should go first. Okay, so there's John Jones. Check. That's why it's important to look, because you might put the card out of place. There's the rose. And then I have a Kamara Usman. And I only have one on there, and that is the refractor. And I misspelled his name. See, when I was putting this in, there was there was, there was a lot of glitching. I would put in a card, and then it would just freeze on me. So this is why it's important to check. So I only had the refractor. And I need to probably email them and let them know that uh, the name needs to be changed. And then here is the refractor. So the other card I... Had to set to the side. I know it's going through here. A couple of cards got missed. Um, and like I said, there's a lot of issues with it freezing or not entering right. Here's the Anasanya. The Islam. And Khabib. And as you can see, the Anasanya, Islam, and Khabib. Alright, so now let's bag those up. And the most they do hold is 10 cards at one time. But what I want to do is keep all the cards. Like if you have, if you can, if you have 20 of the same card, try doing 10 and 10. If you there's 8 in that one pile. And then the next group is another. Then you have 10 of the same card. Kind of keep them all in one pouch or in one in one area that way they can go through it you don't get lost or confused on where it went okay then my next are my two luke harper cards the chrome and the base all right So everything is bagged up. Get those crossed off. So now my cards are bagged and made sure that they are all there. Or if I had a card that I 
didn't add now I know what card is not in there just you want to double check your order check them off as you go all right so now the next thing to do is <clears throat> you want to put cardboard in between them I've pre-cut out hopefully enough I think it's enough we'll see Now I'm going to do two. Two stacks of piece of cardboard. So here are my first one. So again, go back to your order. Make sure Jose Canseco. This is the Pedro. So you want to make sure everything in there. So you got all that. Pedro Martinez. So those are going to be your first two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a rubber band, which you can get at anywhere, Walgreens, Walmart, Target. So before I do that, what I like to do is mark off, this is, this is the front of number one. I'll post that to here. And then I'm going to rubber band it. And I'm also going to rubber band the top since there's two different ones in there. Keep them nice and safe. You can hopefully it doesn't break, but keeps them together. And then cardboard gives them extra protection. So if you have anything wording. There's the back. Here's the front. Grab another rubber band. Oop. Oh, that rubber band broke. There we go. So I'm going to do wrap it. And then, of course, I'm going to do the same thing with this. Front. Number one. stays in there I'll put it with the rubber band protection so there's front one no no let's see there we go and do it for the bottom and then that's what you're gonna do going forward with every single one as you can see the cards are packed they're nice they're not going anywhere then of course you have to put this in this is the packing slip I will put one that doesn't have my marks off on there but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold it up and then put it right in there like that so there's your front there's your shipping label and then you're going to get a box. And then there's your box. I put double bubble wrap in there. That way they're protected. Uh, depending on the box, I probably slide it in like this. And then keep going and then make sure I put bubble wrap in between them to make sure that they don't, you know, move around in the box. And of course, you just, just want to make sure they're safe. So I put two on the bottom and then I'll put two on top. But then I'm going to keep stacking them in there and then tape it up. But you want to make sure you have a bunch of bubble wrap. Do not send in peanuts. Uh, bubble wrap is fine. Um padded bubble wrap if you have extra just garbage laying around 
from eBay orders. You can slide those in there. But that's how I'm going to keep going and keep doing that like that. And then once it gets full, and depending on if I have enough room, if say I have another box I can use. But I'm using this because this is free. It's free from the post office and it's, and it's priority mail. So that is how I would box it up. As you see how I prep it and get it ready. Now I will show you how I uh, enter these into the system, stuff like that. Okay, I have pulled up CSG's website and I will show you how you submit your cards. But first, as you can see here, you need to become a member. Choose your tier and services, complete your submission form, which I've already have, and then pack and ship your cards. So now, if you're looking to join, you can join for free. If you do different tiers, the associate was just 25, it gives you 10% off the CCG store, which uh, gives you discounts on, uh, you have the card savers, you have shipping boxes that they can give you that are pre-cut for exact 100 cards which is nice if you don't want to fool around with another box you also have the 149 which gives you basically a hundred fifty dollar credit which basically you're getting the membership for free in a sense because you are sending you are getting that money back to use towards any grades you purchase this one you get the $20 CSG shipping kit voucher for new members. So I guess they have different ones. Maybe this one has more card savers or the $15 one doesn't have card savers. I don't know. This is new. When I signed up, they didn't have any of this. And then, of course, the Elite, which is what I signed up for, which I think gives you the best bang for your buck. You get, of course, submission privileges. Um... So I guess with the free one, you don't get direct submission privileges. I don't know how exactly that works. I guess maybe you don't get to ship, or you do, and I don't know. I've never seen that before. And then 10% off the store, a free $20 kit, and then you have $150 credit as well. But this one I like the most. You get 10% off your grading tier. So if you submit, let's see here. Pull up the account. And then let's go over to service and fees. And of course, they did update them. Uh, the bulk used to be 8. Economy used to be 12. Standard 25. Express was 45. I think there was a hundred for walkthrough, if I'm not mistaken. And of course, you can do other stuff like you do subgrades, which is ten dollars per. That can go up. That stayed the same. Uh, autograph grades. The autographs actually come on the back of the slam. Uh, quick submit is if you click quick submit, it means you don't have to enter the information. They will enter it for you. And they have pedigree. Um, I guess it gives you the past and present ownership. I don't know really what you want that for, honestly. And of course, crossover, which depends. So if you have a PSA card, a Becca card, CSG, HGA, although it doesn't say that, it just says PSA, Beckett, and uh, SCG. Basically, what they'll do is they'll take that slab and crack it open and then resubmit it and then put it in a CSG slab for you. I uh, can't guarantee that the grades will be exactly the same, you know, because they, they're going to do their own grading on it, because PSA, Beckett, and CSG do not do AI grading, so they won't just give you, it'll, actually, as you can see, it kind of explains a little more, too, in that, but just cracking open and putting in another, putting in a CSG case if you want to change from PSA to CSG. And then you can actually send it off for reholders. So say you notice or you drop it and put a crack in it. You send it out, it's $10, and they'll put the card in a new slab for you. And then high value. So if the card, if the, if the Michael Jordan rookie card cracks, 
you have to pay thirty dollars because it's going to be above ten thousand. Send that back out to get reset, reslab. Sorry. And then you could pay for premium high res imaging. So if you don't have a scanner that does the high res scanning, uh, it's up to you if you're listing it on eBay or whatever uh, <clears throat> site you can sell cards on. That's up to you. I personally just I you know I bought a two hundred fifty dollar printer or printer a scanner so I can scan my slabs and send them up on my eBay shop. Uh, it's just up to you, but I mean it'll add up if you're doing multiple orders. And as you can see here, everybody's been kind of getting upset, but it says now opening submissions delivered the week of March 22nd. So it looks like anybody that sent in bulks, it looks like those are getting out and into people's hands. So to actually submit the card, as you hear, if you if you are a member, this is what you're gonna see my submissions, but I'll show you what I mean by high res uh, imaging. So you go on to your submission, and then it's gonna bring up your card. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the line, and then there's your high res. You can pull it up and look at it, but if you go to save it, it won't let you because it's copyrighted and they won't, as you can see, image is copyrighted. So unless you pay for it, they'll put it up there anyway, but they just won't give it to you unless you pay for it. Uh, but let's go back to submission form. So right here, so right here, submit to our office and it's going to be cards online form the load so mail and quarter grading sports cards and then I'm gonna hit next oh this people are sending in sealed stuff Okay, so here we go. So now if you're doing a bulk order, this is going to get very tedious because you... PSA, I know when you enter that in, it basically pops up uh, with the card exactly what it is. This somewhat does, but you got to select a sport. So if I'm sending in basketball... Now this I'll actually use to show some people are having issues of what to do if a card is not in the system. And of course, it's going to be 2021. And we got Hoops, Don Russ, so we'll do Panini. Now, I imagine some of these have started to fill in. But say you want to do, as you can see, there's no Prism. So maybe those so Prism cards have not been graded into a system yet. So this is what you want to do. You're going to hit Add New. You're going to type in Prism. And then for a subset, it just depends on what it is. You know, it could be. Let's uh, let, let, me, let me see if I can find something. Okay, so you got a Lamello Ball. So we'll do this card right here. So you see Lamello Ball Emergent Insert. So now what I want to do is. So I have Panini, I have Prism. So it's a subset. I'm going to type in Emergent. And then the card number, since there are nothing, I'm going to add new. And then I'm going to hit 23. 
I'm gonna hit enter. Oh, that deleted everything. Oh, why? All right. So let's start again. Okay. Add prism. And then a subset that's going to be emergent. For the card, I'm going to need to add new, and it's going to be number 23. I'm going to click on name, and then of course it's going to be Lamella Ball. And then you got attribute one. So with this particular one, I don't know. It's it's they do things a little bit differently. I've noticed they put the attribute for rated rookie or the color of the card. So you know, if it's a red cracked ice, you put I think it's red ice. They call them. And I guess you could, if you really want to. I don't know if they'll do it or not. For attribute two, you can put say it's a um, what is that? Uh, fast break boxes. They have the disco fast break, and those are usually numbered. So we'll just say that. There you go. Just go fast break, and then in here I will put 12 or 58. I don't know whatever it is. If you could want to put the numbering in there, I don't know if they'll put that on there. I've not seen any cards do that just yet, but I, it doesn't hurt to try. I've done it for a few cards to see if they'll put it on there. But if there's no attribute, nothing. Number two. And then the value of the card. Now the value, declared value of the card could be you can look it up on eBay and see like this one's asking for twenty bucks. So if you want to put it toward twenty bucks, if you want to put it toward fifty, really it just depends on what you're submitting. If you're submitting bulk, it has to be a value of uh, I think it's a hundred and fifty now. It was a hundred, so let's hit next. And yeah, so the value of uh, max value is going to be two fifty per card. Okay, that's not bad. So that's what you want. If you want to do bulk and enter more, you have to do a fifty card minimum. And then the max value per card can be two fifty. That just goes for insurance of shipping back. And then of course you got economy, which is eighteen twenty seven. But of course I have ten percent off all my grades. So that's why you see it's so much cheaper. So that's if you sign up for the Elite. As you can go, I'll show you right now. The basic submission fees, as you can see, it's twelve dollars. Ten percent off makes it ten eighty. So on and so forth. So if it's an autograph, you click autograph down here. It's not an autograph, so next. And then you pick economy or whatever you're doing. And if you want subgrades, you just add it on there. And that's an extra 10 bucks if you're not an elite member, 9 bucks if you are. So you get a discount on that as well. So now I'm going to add it to cart. And then say empty all your cards. This will give you a layout of exactly what cards you have. And of course, next you'll hit checkout. And then you pick your your return shipping. So you have registered and insured UPS. So like I said, that is going to be about a week or two turnaround time. Um, for UPS, I don't know what the turnaround time is. I guess I'll have to ask around and see if what everybody else's turnaround time has been for UPS or FedEx. But I know USPS is going to be three seven business days, as they say. So give or take two weeks. Or you can do pickup. Please call and you can just pick the card up if you live in that area, which would be very nice. But I don't live anywhere near Florida, so. So then you pick that, what you want, next. And then the next you enter your credit card. And then once the credit card goes through, uh, it's not gonna charge you until they actually start grading it. But once you get your card on file, then it's gonna ask you to print out the sheet of your packing slip. And then that's when you start, you can start boxing everything up. 
and then now I will show you how I so uh, you can either take your package to the post office uh, if you have PayPal you can actually use your PayPal account and get a discount on shipping it out uh, so basically you just need to know exactly where you're shipping it um, and of course right here prepare your cards to ship and this will tell you where if you're going to USPS this is what you want to put PO box so what I'm going to do is up some copy go to that <clears throat> That way, I don't, I don't type anything in wrong. Put, oh no, this is a code. Never mind. For Florida, there's a zip code. All right, ship to this address, and then I'm gonna pick right here. I have a. Service type, yeah, priority mail, and then this one's going to be a large rate. And then this is going to calculate the shipping. So it looks like about 20 bucks to ship it out, but this is a large box. But that's going to be the fastest shipping. If you go first class, really you won't be able to use first class. You have to use priority because of the weight. <clears throat> so twenty dollars it's gonna get me to is gonna ship it out to them for me. And then all I do is I print out the label, take it to the post office, they scan it in, and it's ready to be shipped out. So I'd say that's about it. All you have to do and then you just gotta do the waiting game. Wait for them to say they have received the package or not I should take that back. They're not gonna tell you they received the package. They will tell you if they started grading the pack or you're grading your order now they did add um, let's see if I can get back to the front page over here oh here we go <clears throat> All right, and then right over here, you can. Here's the confirm package. You just put in your tracking number, hit go, and it'll tell you if it's in the system or not. Let's see here. Let me see if I can find one of my orders. So right there, this tells you the package is delivered, it's in their hands, and it's in a secure location. And then once you know, once they open up and begin to the process of grading it and then keep looking up the information, they will email you and let you know. And then this is what I was talking about right here. This is what you get uh, in one of their uh, shipping kits, which is really nice. As you can see, it's separated, so it makes it easier than what I'm doing. And then they actually give you the CSG sleeves. You get 100 card sleeves, and then you get 50 CSG semi-rigid card holders, a.k.a. card savers. Then you get a pen and a sticker. And then, of course, bubble wrap to ship that out, and it holds up to 150 cards. So that's pretty nice. I sent more than 150, so it wouldn't work for me unless I had two of them. But if you're submitting under, under 150 cards, you might as well go. Might as well go for this. I mean, it's going to make it easier. And then looking at the prices. Let's see here. Trading cards, sports cards. That's a $20 one. And then there was a $15 one, but I'm not sure. Let's find out. Let's see if we can find. Yeah, I don't see a $15 one, so that must be something different or special. 
but it's 20 bucks and of course but it's out of stock so as you can see how crazy they are now it's not expected the ship date is June 1st so a lot of people are buying it so like I said once everything is done you will be in called the waiting game and don't get frustrated if you're not getting it right away I personally have had to wait eight months for one PSA order I shipped out back in August uh, and then I have two more that I'm waiting to get created from PSA as well as I have HDA which should be sending out hopefully on Friday and then CSG I have this bulk order, another bulk order, and then I have a, uh, <clears throat> I think it's a regular, uh, let's see here, it's going to be an economy order I sent out, and of course at that time it was 60 days, and I'm already behind the track because they haven't even started on it yet. But I will say, if you are sending an express order or walkthrough on your box, you actually write. Either if it's express, you write EX on there, so that way they open those packages up first, knowing that these need to get done. They're on priority. And well, that's all I have. Thank you so much for joining me on how I submit my cards. Hopefully, this benefit you helps you out. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day.